Welcome to an updated tutorial for using Trinus VR and Steam VR in Coalition to result in being able to play virtual reality games using your phone. You won't be able to play anything that requires tracked controllers, but stuff that uses a gamepad or keyboard and mouse is fair game. You will need a VR ready PC with both the Steam client and Steam VR installed, a smartphone running Android, a headset to put the smartphone in, a controller, all the necessary cables to put these things together. I trust you to get to this point on your own, otherwise you might struggle to follow this tutorial. Now at the time of recording, the download for the Trinus VR server has just been relocated within their website, so we're going to look around for it. We'll go to www.trinusvirtualreality.com and scroll down to Trinus Solutions. As you can see, the options of VR Powered by Daydream and PlayStation VR are also available, but we're going to be focusing on Cardboard since that's what I have. Scroll down to the download section and grab the installer for the server. There's a link next to it which will take you to the Play Store entry for the client app. Give those a download and an install and meet me back here when you're done. You good? Okay, open the server up. There are a lot of settings here to run through, so let's just focus on the ones we need. If you wonder what anything does, mouse over it and help text on the right should point you in the right direction. The head mount setting is controlled by settings you will enter later, so we'll skip that for now. Image scale adjusts the resolution sent down the wire to your phone. These are the values that the words represent, and since my phone is fitted with the 1080p screen, I'm going to set image scale to ultra. I set compression all the way to the right, which might be uncompressed, or more likely just the lowest level of compression the slider allows me to set. Capture mode. For the purposes of this tutorial, which will only inform you in using SteamVR, you really ought to set this to SteamVR. Now head on to the SteamVR tab and hit install. This shouldn't take too long, and when it's done, you should get a message at the bottom of the window about the success of the install. It's worth going to the sensor tab at this point and binding reset tracking to a key in your keyboard. The gyroscope in your phone isn't perfect, and sometimes you're going to want to reset your viewpoint. Now we need to worry about your phone. Your phone will be talking to your PC via USB tethering, so I always switch on airplane mode before I enable tethering. This stops the PC from helping itself to your mobile data. Connect the USB cable between your PC and phone. Launch the app and tap the USB icon at the bottom of the screen. Enable USB tethering and press your phone's back button. Press the power button looking icon on the phone, place the phone into your headset and check the app on desktop. It should say phone detected and an IP address. Press the matching icon in the lower right and the screen on your phone should go black. Launch SteamVR and put the headset on. If your environment is tracking correctly but isn't properly aligned to your real world, try pressing the key you bound earlier. Now I'm going to assume that your view of the virtual world currently doesn't look incredible. You might be seeing double, the colours might be splitting due to your lenses, but we can fix this. In a separate video of links in the description, I will show you how to use the lens correction features built into Trainers to help us out. Once you've sorted that out, you should run SteamVR Room Setup. Choose Standing Only, put your headset down, and click Next. Then, follow the instructions. In a previous version of this tutorial, I showed that you can use your controller to navigate an interface inside of SteamVR to open and close games and change settings, but since I made that video, Valve have updated the platform and I have been unable to pin down how this menu system works. Sadly, you must launch and quit games from outside VR. So, hook up your controller, launch a VR game, and have at it. It should be noted that you can also play 2D games within SteamVR if you so wish. You are placed inside a theatre looking thing and get to play those games on a big screen. I've had a brief conversation with the developer of Trinus VR, and they wanted me to let you know that you can use the code ENTERTHETRINUS on their website for a discount on the license needed to use the full version of Trinus VR. If you play without a license, sessions are limited to a 15 minute trial period. Thank you for watching.